When an HID system fails, it's important to be able to determine which specific component has failed. That way, you can get an individual replacement part instead of having to buy an entire new kit. This video is for people who have already installed an HID kit, maybe it's been working for a week or a couple of months or a couple of years, and then all of a sudden they had a failure. This video is not for people who have, say, purchased a universal kit and are trying to make something work on their vehicle. That's a, that's a different story. What we have here is a very common HID system setup where we have two ballasts that are directly connected to two bulbs, and that's the entire HID system. We have an input power connector to each ballast. There's one here and one here. And then the high voltage connections, uh, which are these guys on this side and these here. What we're going to do is we're going to troubleshoot this HID system to determine which of the four components has failed. So now let's say you go inside the vehicle and you turn your headlights on and this is what you get. So obviously here we have one side that doesn't work. We'll call this the driver side, which does work, and the right side or the passenger side, which does not work. Now what we want to do is determine which of the two components on the passenger side has failed. Is it the ballast or the bulb? In order to isolate the problem, there's two methods that you can use. Either you can keep the ballast in their same side, so you keep this one on the passenger side and this one on the driver side, leave them in their place, and disconnect the passenger side bulb and disconnect the driver side bulb and then swap them over. So using the bulb swap method, what we're looking for is the problem to follow the bulb. Now if we switch these over here and we find that, okay, now all of a sudden this side is not working, then we know that the bulb is the faulty component because the problem is following the bulb and both ballasts are working properly. So let's swap the bulbs from left to right and see what happens. Now that we've got the bulb swapped over, let's say you go back inside the vehicle, turn the headlights on. Now you can see that we have the passenger side working and the driver side is no longer functioning. And we've maintained the position of the ballast. So we know that this ballast was working before because when it was paired with this bulb, it turned on. And also, now that we use this ballast with this bulb, we know that both these ballasts are working. And now we've isolated the problem and we know that this is the defective bulb. The other possible outcome of this bulb swap is that the passenger side still does not work. Now, if that's the case, we know that the issue is going to be the ballast and not the bulb. And the reason for that is because we know that this bulb works here. When it was paired up with this ballast, it works. Now, if we pair it up with this ballast and it does not light up, we know that the problem is not the bulb, it's the ballast. So those are the two possible outcomes. Now, what about a situation where both headlights stop working at the same time? Now, it is extremely rare for, say, two HID ballasts to fail at the exact same time or two HID bulbs to fail at the exact same time. So, if both headlights fail, it's likely something else. Now, the first component that could fail is the relay module itself. If a relay fails, usually it will either start buzzing, it'll make a buzzing noise, um, or it won't just activate at all. If it doesn't activate, it's not going to send power to the ballast, which obviously will not turn your lights on. Now, if it's buzzing, you might get uh, flickering or some other strange effects or the ballast won't turn on. Now, a lot of these uh, the cheap relay harnesses that are on the market, they use really poor quality relay modules. Now, this is the Alpha Series relay harness that we sell, and it uses an OEM quality Hella relay module. And see, companies like Hella, they'll do 100,000 cycle tests and lots of reliability testing. Um, so we have never ever seen a relay failure with our harnesses. However, with a lot of like the cheap eBay harnesses and, and uh, some of the lower quality components that are out there, we've seen these relays fail in a matter of weeks um, or in a matter of months. Now, the other component that could fail in a relay harness is the fuse. Now, the fuse is a protection device to prevent overload. If you remove this cover here, and uh, some relay harnesses won't have this waterproof um, cover like we do, you can check the fuse. If the fuse is blown, then you're definitely not going to get any headlights. The first thing that you can do is try replacing the fuse and see if the headlights come on.
If you replace the fuse and it blows again, that most likely means that there's going to be something wrong with one of the ballasts or there's a short somewhere. If there's a short somewhere, you're going to have to look elsewhere either in the relay harness or try checking the ballast using the bulb swap method to determine what's wrong. One other thing to watch out for is corrosion. We have seen on some kits that have poor quality weather seals that uh, over time you can get water or um, oxidation that forms inside the pins um, of say the ballast power connectors. Now if you get corrosion or moisture that builds up in here, uh, the pins will become oxidized and that reduces the electrical connectivity uh, from the power source, whether it's directly from the factory headlight plug or relay harness, to the ballast. And this reduced electrical connectivity can cause a ballast to malfunction. Here's a flowchart which will give you a graphical representation of how to troubleshoot an HID system.